Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and this is going to be my review of the book book for iPhone 5. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, why do you have a book just sitting there? Well, this is actually a wallet case, uh, believe it or not. And uh, this is probably one of the coolest wallet cases I have found, simply because it does look like an old beat up book. So you can literally leave this sitting on your table or on your desk or wherever, and uh, you know, someone really wouldn't think twice about it. They wouldn't even think it's a, uh, an iPhone in there. So, as you can see right here, Book Book Volume 5 for the iPhone 5. Uh, now, I will mention that this case also does support the iPhone 4 and 4S, so there is a Book Book for that, but it's a slightly different design. It's going to be a little different than the version here for the iPhone uh, 5, so do keep that in mind. Now, this is a uh, genuine leather handmade wallet case, and the, it's just, you know, the aroma of it is pretty strong you definitely can tell that this is genuine leather uh, you will notice that as soon as you unbox it um, so first I guess I'll just talk about the design of the wallet case here uh, as you can see it's all kind of scuffed up here on the front and scratched and it just looks like it's been around for a while and it's all beat up and vintage looking uh, that is the way it comes that's not for me actually using it I have used this case for about two weeks now um, as you can see the leather has you know little imperfections here and there little marks that's just the way it's supposed to be as you can see kinda of leaves little finger marks and the more and more you use this it'll kind of loosen up and you know get a bit more shiny the leather will kinda of, you know absorb some of your grease from your fingers and get a more shiny look as if it is just like a wallet that you use in your back pocket at the bottom here you do have uh, your headphone jack your lightning cable and speaker and microphone are completely exposed as you can see at the top your power button is completely exposed the side here is completely covered which is a a nice little touch so as you can see from the side you can't really well I guess since I have the white iPhone you here you can see it just a little bit but uh, from a, a more of a, a top view here you would never be able to even see that um, also your iPhone sits in this kinda like hard shell within the uh, leather and there's this kinda like soft felt material right there that's what's behind the iPhone um, this hard shell case is kind of built into it so it is very sturdy and it's not going to come off or out uh, it's just a very very nice secure strong hold um, now one thing I would like to add here quickly is I would recommend having probably a screen protector or like maybe even an anti-glare protector uh, as you can see it might be a little hard but uh, there is kind of little lines here that's actually from the sleeves on this side as they pick up your finger grease they will kind of transfer over to your screen uh, it doesn't bug me at all I don't mind it I just wipe my phone off with my shirt or whatever but uh, do keep in mind it will probably leave kind of lines here especially if you have the black iPhone 5 you'll probably see them up into the top area um, as you can see now it does have your credit card and well any kind of card sleeves over on the side you do have your ID sleeve right here with the clear plastic so you can see your ID right through it if you need to take it out there's a nice little thumb slot here will allow you to slide it out very easily um, uh, another thing I like to add about the sleeves and this ID sleeve here is when you first get this case uh, the leather is pretty stiff as it is brand new and it hasn't been really broken in um, it was a little difficult for me to slide my ID out at first uh, the cards were a little difficult to take out but the more and more I've been using this the easier and easier it's been getting just because you know the leather is kind of loosening up a little bit and becoming a little bit more flexible so that is something to take note on you also do have kind of a pocket here where you can put your cash in and uh, that is the thing that I absolutely love about this case is when I leave the house and when I, at least when I'm using this case all I gotta remember is this it's got my ID it's got my cards and it's got my iPhone all in one package uh, very minimalistic I just slide this in my front pocket I haven't used it in my back pocket just because it feels kinda weird you know sitting knowing that I'm sitting on my iPhone so I, I tend to keep it in my front pocket um, it doesn't you know add very much bulk in my pocket whatsoever it's still pretty thin as you can see right there and it's just a very very minimalistic case to you know get rid of your wallet and combine them into you know one uh, one thing that is cool if you think about it as well if you do have find my iPhone uh, on your iPhone uh, if you lose this case you will be able to find it so you'll be able to find your wallet so if you have an issue with losing wallets I would recommend this and make sure you put find my iPhone uh, on your iPhone and uh, that is pretty much gonna be it as you can see there's like almost like a little bit of glue here from that case that uh, seeped up a little bit you know just keep in mind this is meant to look old and beat up it's not 
uh, meant to look perfect in any kind of way. Uh, a very, very unique uh, leather, genuine leather case and a, a great conversational piece to have as so many people have asked me about it when I've been out and about. They just asked me, well, what kind of case is that? Where do you get that? Uh, so that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, again, it's called the Book Book. It is for the iPhone 5. There is a different version for the iPhone 4 and 4S. I'll leave links down in the description for the cheapest place you can buy this case, and that is Amazon. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to throw me a thumbs up. That does help me out tremendously. And if you guys want to see more uh, case reviews or any kind of videos like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.